Day number three. My legs are really starting to feel it. Uh, the big dirty, every time I die, 36 minutes. I don't know where I am. I've just found myself here. All right, then, here we go. Let's do it. And the watch is on, music is on, and we're off. Come on, come on. What's happening? <laughs> I dropped my phone. My phone fell out. This is much more punky than the one I did yesterday. This is an older one, isn't it? We've gone back a little bit. Just like I don't give a fuck. Just want to run down the road. I'm just going through people like a cannibal. I tell you what, this is why I'm feeling so dangerous. I feel like I'm on tour with them. This album's got that feel that I'm in the middle of a tour. It just seems to be about rock and roll and being in every time I die. Whoa! Yeah, this one feels much more like like a live experience from parts and known just had this futuristic, almost sci-fi quality to it. This one being an older album, it sounds really like like it's a live show basically, that's what I'm trying to say. I kind of told myself before this one that I was gonna go slower than yesterday. <laughs> it's quicker. It's like yesterday's album was the heat. You know what I mean? Like yesterday's album, that was the heat, that was a fire. This feels like it's like thicker, rounder, a bit gentler in a way. So this feels like the condensation brought on by the heat. I'm able to just ease into my running a bit. I need to cross this road. Ah! Come on! Honestly, I feel like I'm the merch guy. I'm late to get the venue. It's just, I'm all, maybe it's because I've, it's all I've run to all week, but I really feel part of the team. <laughs> let me go on tour with you. If this is how awesome it feels, let me come with you. It's like being at a gig. Ah! Is it awesome? Woo! Legs, honestly, I have no idea how you're doing this today. How are you running so fast? In a way, this feels like the most accepting of the album. Just like, this is us. We're not asking too many questions. We're just rocking out and having a good time. Ah, come on. I'm just rocking out to this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. I just thinking too much about it. That's 18.30. For the first five kilometers, it's time to just dig in now. Oh, what a rip! This feels much more like an album. I can enjoy it as much as I want. You know, yesterday, from parts of nowhere, felt like I had to catch it. It's just coming at me. This one's like I can play this in the house, play in the car. It's still amazing. Don't get me wrong, like, I just can't believe how many levels there are to heavy music. I'm able to relax a bit more into this and still go fast. I want to talk, but I can't. I'm going too fast for it. Ah, let's just keep on going. Two of my own head. Ah, this is so cool. That line about being 27, the age where most rock stars die. This is an album about being in a band and just loving it. I'm probably hating it at the same time. Ah, one kilometer left. I'm on for another 37 minutes. Take it! Come on! 100 meters left! Ah! Woo! Ah! 37 minutes 40! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! One thing I have noticed about every time I die is that people say they unlike most bands because their last albums are the best and I definitely agree with that from what I've heard and I think the reason for that is like, like I said during that run it's as if at the end of their career, like where they're at now, is where they're creating the heat. And these earlier albums sound like, like the condensation brought on by the heat. And, and most bands start off with a fire and then they cool down and then they do like watered down versions of themselves. But it's almost like every time I die, you're just living it backwards. I don't know, it's like the earlier, earlier stuff sounds like a band towards the end of their career. And the newer stuff just <laughs> sounds like a band starting off. It's just amazing that they're like the, the Benjamin Button of the rock and roll world. I'm miles away from home, I got a long walk, but that's it, I gotta do another one tomorrow. Oh, it's tough man, it's, t it's tough running hard on consecutive days, particularly when you're my age, like I'm 75, so it's tough, but we will do it, I will do it for you. That was the most running punks run as well. I dropped my phone, so I had to turn around and get it. The music stopped, so I had to take the phone out my, my flip belt, put it back on. I got trainers on that I bought in January. I got a cotton t-shirt on, I had silly sunglasses on, and I ran 37 minutes. Like, you just gotta go out there and just be a punk. You just gotta go for it. Just, just forget about, just forget about it. Just forget about stuff. Just run. Just run. That's what you gotta do. You just gotta run. Haven't you? You just gotta run. I finished that run half hour ago. <laughs> I'm still walking home. Forty-five minutes later, and I'm still walking home.